Venom's opening weekend in China sets a new record for Sony. The studio has tried before to launch a cinematic universe with their Marvel-owned characters. After failing to do so with the Amazing Spider-Man movies, the box office for Tom Hardy's Venom continues to rise. Marvel Studios is currently busy using Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But Sony wants more out of their Marvel properties. Not all fans understood why Sony would do this without the help of Marvel Studios. Especially since many of their projects have close ties to the friendly neighborhood hero. Some of the concern may have been momentarily validated when reviews for Venom came in largely negative. The critical response has not hindered Venom in the slightest though. With its surpassing expectations in its opening weekend, the film's box office run has continued to stay strong and now set a record in its opening weekend. In China, related, Venom's success may stop Spider-Man writes returning to Marvel The Rap shared the news that I Venom opened to the tune of $111 million in China this weekend. The massive launch is the second-highest opening weekend in China for a superhero movie. Falling only behind Avengers, Infinity War, it also makes Venom a top-five opening for any Hollywood film. But the record comes with its placement in Sony's history. Venom's opening is the biggest Sony has ever had in the Middle Kingdom this year with this record opening for Venom. The anti-hero solo film has a worldwide box office total of $673.5 million. This is more than enough to surpass Ant-Man and the Wasp's box office total of $622.5 million from earlier this year. It also means that, as previously expected, Venom has made more money at the box office than Justice League and Logan. It also has surpassed Man of Steel's total and is just a few million away from topping Doctor Strange. With the final haul north of $700 million possible, Venom could beat Amazing Spider-Man 2 as well. If there was any doubt before, Venom has proven that it's a massive box office success. Sony has yet to announce plans for a sequel, but there is no way that it doesn't happen with these results. The mid-credits scene for the movie set up Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy, better known to comic fans as the symbiote villain Carnage. Venom taking on Carnage is believed to be the plot of the sequel. While Venom's sequel still needs to be officially announced, the Jared Leto-led Morbius the Living Vampire is next up for Sony's universe. If the rest of Sony's Marvel movies can keep up this success, then they may have found a cinematic universe launcher in Venom. Source. The Rap Tags. Venom.